Hey, um, trust this finds you well, and I uh, want to thank you for uh, joining in. I um, wanted to just take a few of these devotionals to, um, to remind you that um, as the children of God, we are called to have a, an attitude of gratitude. And so, um, let me read from Psalm 118, verse 28 and 29. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I think that um, as you make intention to uh, establish an attitude of gratitude, a, a time of Thanksgiving, you know, as we in America celebrate Thanksgiving, um, that um, we just be intentional to stop and to remember because uh, you can get so caught up into the circumstances of life and uh, the turmoil of life and the troubles of life that these circumstances begin to consume you and occupy you and weigh you down that you forget um, who you are and whose you are. And I love how the psalmist here simply reminds us, you are my God that no matter what's going on in the world and no matter what's going on in our lives and no matter what storms we may find ourselves, we have a God who is in control of us uh, in all of our circumstances and who loves us. And so we have so much to be thankful. And so we choose to give thanks. Uh, I, I talked about this a little bit before, but uh, that the scripture we looked at last time, you know, uh, give thanks in all circumstances. That's a hard one. And uh, I met with uh, a friend of mine some time ago, and he too had Parkinson's. And he just said, I've just been choosing to give thanks for Parkinson's. And I, I'll be honest with you. I thought, man, that sounds crazy. But um, as it resonated in my heart, I began to realize he had it. You see, he was not living as a victim of his circumstances. And I don't want to live as a victim of my circumstances or a disease that I might uh, have in me and might have to fight. But I I'm going to give thanks. I'm going to choose to give thanks. And because I'm choosing to give thanks for it, I can have an attitude of gratitude in everything I face and realize I'm not a victim, but uh, I'm the beloved of God. And he's a sovereign God who has permitted these challenges and these circumstances to come into my life that he might reveal himself to me and through me, that he might release the essence of his presence through me uh, in these challenges, whereas he might not be able to do so in any other times. And so I give thanks to you, God. And I, I choose, like the old hymn said, you know, count your blessings. I, I choose to give thanks. And I have so much to be thankful for. Uh, I give thanks for my family and the, the many privileges I had of growing up in the home I did and the country I did and all of the, the material blessings. And, and for the, I give thanks for the, you know, the wife he has given me and the children and the grandchildren he's given me and all of these blessings. And I give thanks uh, for the, his wonderful provision, and and uh, oh, and you are my God. I do extol you. I exalt you. You chose me uh, when I had nothing to offer. You you chose me and you blessed me, and I exalt you because I realize it's a gift of your grace. 
And Lord, when I was your enemy, you loved me. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He is a good God. And um, I often find myself praying, Lord, reveal your goodness. Reveal your goodness to the people. Reveal your goodness to my children. Reveal your goodness to my grandchildren. Reveal your goodness to my family and friends and congregation and the people I minister. Reveal your goodness. And you say, well, why? Because the scripture tells us that the goodness of God leads men to repentance. And so it's all about magnifying the goodness of God. And I give thanks because he's good and he's been good to me. It doesn't mean that uh, there haven't been hardships in my life and challenges in my life, but in it all, I know that he is good for his steadfast love endures forever. His mercy endures forever. He is, friend, a good God. When we're faithful, his steadfast love endures. And when we're unfaithful, his steadfast love endures. So in a week of Thanksgiving, Become intentional today and every day of giving thanks. I thank my God and I thank him for you and I love you and I hope you have a great day.